Hey guys, it's Kimberly from the Bat Quarter Shop, and today I'm gonna show you our brand new quilt called Fat Eighth Fruitcake. And of course, it uses Fat Eight. So grab a Fat Eighth bundle and some background, and let's get started. So first, go to the Fat Quarter Shop website and go to our free pattern page and download the Fat Eighth Fruitcake pattern, and you can follow along with me. So first, you're gonna take a fabric B square and a fabric G square. Um, I love the friction pin because it disappears with heat later. You're going to draw a line from corner to corner on the wrong side of your fabric G square. And when you're sewing, I'm going to go with a little bit darker thread today, and I'm using color 2810, which is an Aurifil. You definitely want to use a darker thread if you're using um, a darker fabric, and the rule of thumb on darker fabric is you would rather use darker thread than lighter thread, because lighter thread will show up more than darker. So if you're at home and you've, you've got some thread and you can't decide which one, use the darker. <clears throat> so you're gonna place the fabric G square on the top right corner of a fabric B square, stitch directly on the line, trim a quarter inch away from your stitch line and press. Press according to the pattern so that your um, your block will nest, your seams will nest in the end, and this is going to be your fruit unit. So that's your first unit. Now moving to our next unit, you're gonna take a fabric A rectangle, another fabric G square that has the line drawn on it, put it on the bottom left, stitch directly on the line, trim a quarter inch away, and press. And this is going to be your cake unit. Then you're going to take your fruit unit, a fabric E square, press those together. Then you're gonna add that to your cake unit and your fruit cake unit is going to be done. And you're gonna have four of these for each block. Now we're gonna make some strip sets. You're gonna to put together your fabric D and fabric C rectangles and there what you're going to want to do is just use a quarter inch seam and press and then we're going to sub cut this down the first thing i'm going to do is take my creative grids ruler line up the seam with the line on the ruler and cut then i'm going to flip that around and we need to sub cut these to be two inches wide so the first thing i'm going to do is when you're cutting, you can either cut one at a time and move across, or you can cut this way and move this way. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut at the six inch. And I'm gonna explain why. So now if I move my ruler to the left, my fabric is not moving. And again, I'm moving it and see the fabric does not move when you go to the left. So I'm gonna cut those into two inch strips and I'm gonna keep doing that. From each of these, you are going to make eight rectangles, and you're gonna use four of these for each block. So you'll have enough from each strip set for two blocks. So now to put your block together, it's super simple. You're gonna put four fruitcake units, four slice units. You wanna make sure your square is in the center so you don't accidentally sew one like this, cause I don't know, maybe like I would do something like that. And put your fabric F square in the center. You're just gonna sew them together just like this. And then sew those together and you're gonna have your cute fruitcake block which look, would look great in any fabrics. You're gonna make 30 for each quilt. Then you're gonna put them in rows of five by six and assemble your quilt center. Then add your side borders, press, and then add your top and bottom borders and press. And it's just as simple as that. So make sure to download the Fat Eighth Fruitcake pattern at Fat Quarter Shop and share it with us on social media. We can't wait to see your quilts. Thank mm -hmm. you.